Some of you wanted to know how I modeled my umbrella in the last video, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm gonna go to the top orthographic view here. I'm gonna draw a curve, so I'm gonna go up to the Create menu, go to Curve Tools, and then I personally like the pencil tool for this. With the curve highlighted, I'm gonna go up here and hit Sweep Mesh. Instead of Circle, I'm gonna click on Star, up the sides to 24, take the inner radius, and I'm gonna crank that up a little bit. Now go down to Scale Profile, we're gonna crank that up a bit, and we're gonna wanna taper it. And right above Taper, you can see the option for Twist. We're gonna crank that up a little bit as well. For Precision, we actually wanna bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna bring mine down to maybe just a flat 60. Now we're gonna come right back to this part of the umbrella, but I wanna quickly model the shaft because it'll make the rest of this much easier. I'm gonna spawn a cylinder, I'm gonna rotate that jaw 90 degrees, make this a bit skinnier, take these vertices right here, drag them out a bit more, go to multi-cut, and put a cut right about here, then go back to object mode, shift right click, go to insert edge loop options. I'm gonna put 42 edge loops and add those on. Now that we've got this dense topology to work with, I'm gonna highlight all the faces, go up to deform and then down to non-linear and then to bend. Shut off the low bound. And I'm gonna change the curvature from 90 to 185. Scale it some more, depending on how good your reference is, a lot of this is gonna be just eyeballing it. In an orthographic view, you can take out some of the useless edge loops like these right here, these as well. I'm actually gonna add one more edge loop here, bevel the top of the handle a bit, highlight all these faces of the staff, extrude them down a bit, bevel the top again, drag it out a bit more. Now go over to your handle and bevel these edges here. Now I'm actually going to duplicate this part of the mesh by hitting Control D, isolate it with Control one highlight the face is supposed to be the band hit control shift and I to highlight the rest of the model hit delete I'm going to scale on the X and Y axis I'm going to extrude the band and give it some thickness I'm going to isolate this part of the umbrella and select a bunch of different edge loops here you can do this part sort of at random okay once you have your selection of edges you can go shift right click to soften harden edges and then up to soften edge so now I'm just going to clone this down delete these faces here then you only have this part then you're going to want to take the inner edges here scale them down then you're going to center the pivot here scale this down again you're just going to keep repeating this process control isolate select the vertices pull them out a little bit rotate them a little bit scale them in a slightly different way going to extrude them just to get a little bit of thickness on them then for the ribs i'm going to make them a very small metal pole here now i'm going to hit the d key and then hold down the v key and change this pivot point to be the center of the shaft got the rib i'm going to hold down shift and duplicate it for about 30 degrees i'm going to hit shift d and duplicate it all around now we've got this right here add some variation group them all together and then duplicate them slide them all the way to the back. I'm gonna go up to the form and hit lattice. Grab these lattice points here, scale it up a bit, pull them out, go to object mode, clear history, shrink it down a bit, push them back in. And there you go, that's how you can quickly 3D model an umbrella. Here's a comparison of the previous umbrella I had in my poke video. You can see it on the right there, on the left is the one that I made today. Same process, just a different umbrella, different dimensions. You get the idea though. I had to squeeze a lot into just three minutes, so if you guys have any questions about the process, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Remember, create more and until next time.